A NATO summit focused on bolstering support for Ukraine. Western leaders descending in the Lithuanian capital of Vilnius to tackle a heavy agenda. High on the list will be Ukraine's membership bid in the alliance, as the decisions taken here will shape its ability to regain occupied territory. President Volodymyr Zelensky insists security guarantees are needed for Kyiv after the war to ensure against future potential Russian aggressions. But not all NATO allies are on the same page, with cautious members saying the move would be premature, while others say Ukraine has proved its worth to NATO and its military prowess. I expect ally leaders will reaffirm that Ukraine will become a member of NATO and unite on how to bring Ukraine closer to its goal. Another topic of contention on the table will be Washington's decision to provide cluster bombs for Kyiv, a weapon banned in 120 countries and condemned by human rights groups due to a high risk of civilian casualties. Canada, Spain and the UK are among the members who have voiced their concerns and have vowed not to deliver the weapon under any circumstances. But the leaders are said to be more on the same page when it comes to the issue of ramping up deterrence. In 2014, member states agreed to increase spending towards 2% of their GDP on defence within a decade. But in 2023, the target will only be met by 11 countries of the alliance. At the Vilnius summit, NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg aims to make the 2% target a mandatory requirement rather than a goal to aim for.